wait until the cutscene is over. I just want to push <laughs> the, the menu. button so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Go push, button go push. Could that be where Lisa lives? Run down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Oh, she Ryan could live here. Yeah, she could. Mm -hmm. She could live in like one of the greenhouse shacks, for all we know, man. <laughs> all right, Lisa. He just like slips and breaks his neck on the stairs and game over. Yeah. Wake up. Oh god. <laughs> Jinxie, no. <laughs> Pulls him inside super quick and it turns out to be like a drug den. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take them. <laughs> I'll just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? She's I skipping just town. wanted to ask you. <laughs> Did you know Kay Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up, and then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. Stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on. And I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. Who is the other person? A demon. She's like me, but Satanic. older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry, I, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And her body ends up in the lake. <laughs> it's going to be the next one to disappear. Weird. Okay, that was weird, <laughs> freaky, disturbing, disconcerting. Choose one. <laughs> All of the above. Alright, um, yeah, let's go with that. What do we get? We got some we got something at least. Accusation. Okay. Alright, James. <laughs> Gotta have something to say about this. For the <laughs> love of all this holy. <laughs> like say more than one word. Your next door neighbor has some weird shit to say about your other next door neighbors. <laughs> yeah. For real. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Really just one more question. Okay. <laughs> Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? That's interesting coming from she you, James. She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. I'm talking to her once, that's all. 
And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really, blind to herself. So she was more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Says the guy staring into a flame. <laughs> For real. He's, He's wait, probably been under auto hypnosis this whole, whole time. time yeah. <laughs> He's just been sitting here, like in a chair, staring into the fireplace, occasionally glancing over at us to ask us what. That's probably why he doesn't mind us like just walking in his house. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. You already stole my magic, man. I don't know what to do. I mean, I've been in and out of all of the inhabitants' houses for like the past what? Like four, like four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Just like strolling through town, back and forth, walk like I don't seventeen want miles. To, talk to Paul. Just do I, I, but just because I, I know he's gonna give me shit for it. What a douche. He's like that teacher That's that you don't want to space. tell you to do their homework because <laughs> yeah. you know they'll be mad at you. And they'll give, they'll give you that fucking lecture and it's like, listen guy, I forgot. I'm human, shit happens. Continue on with your life. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Satanism? I mean, that is quite a weird question. Am I missing <laughs> something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Those actually sound Anything else you want to know bodies. that I'm not interested in? That's fine. I mean, well, Ryan is quite interested in the occult, or he was. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and Paul seems to have some, some pretty, uh, Interesting uh, knowledge of, Thank you. of said occult activities. Yeah, I mean, per, I mean, I, I I could say that he might just be like reciting what he knows from like Ryan's yeah little spat because Ryan's like, oh yeah, I know about the stuff, but I I grew out of it. I don't do the thing anymore that I do. <laughs> so what what with devil worship? No, not not anymore, man. No, <laughs> I'm not about that any longer. What is this for? It's probably where it's uh, what is this where for? everyone gathers so you can accuse them. That's probably where yeah, it is. Yeah, at like the end of the night. <laughs> and someone tries to run and then you chuck a bowl of beer nuts Couple at their head and if that's okay. take them to jail. Tonk, why are you throwing nuts at me? Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? Yeah, me. As in black magic? No, why? Your husband Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas. Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Bum, bum. Why have you been well. talking? Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. I don't like okay. that face. <laughs> Be back later on if that's I okay. don't like the Rans. Like the entire family. Yeah. She's. She's weird. And he, she's the best of them. Yeah, she's the <laughs> she's she's at least the most normal of the weird. <laughs> Paul like, is just the the, the listen the physical incarnation of douchery. She's weird. I don't know what the fuck Ryan is. He's just <laughs> he's all over the extent. Just just uh, he's theatrical. Yeah. Please. And then you have like. See, these two are probably the most normal out of the whole town, which is probably why we keep coming back to them. Because they're <laughs> the easiest to talk to. about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil I mean, she no. lies a lot, but... Definitely she not. Is, she, she has good reasons. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, like, <laughs> she felt guilty and she was having an affair. Like, she's... Uh, and, and, is, and is guilty about said affair. Yeah. Alright, there's one thing, though. What the fuck was with the dude at the beginning who was, like, drinking... <laughs> Who told us about Liam? Yeah. He was just oh, like, there. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh no, I'm just strolling through town. I just sat here to get a little bit drunker before I stumbled home. And then he told us about Liam. He's like, oh, poor poor kid. Slams the rest <laughs> of his drink and just walks off. His blue label stoley and just... Maybe he lives in the woods. <laughs> hey. Okay, that's it for now. That's Woodsy, the local drunk. <laughs>
<laughs> he just comes out of the woods every once in a while when he runs out of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, he just comes by the pub, grabs a bottle, throws a 50 down, and then walks back. Like, we don't even know where he gets the money from. What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? No, there's none of that. Mine's the doll burning. I would, I would say that the masks and the devil worship, well, not devil worshiping, <laughs> the doll burning, the burning, the doll burning around too. a fire, masks, the general sense of occultism. Okay. Let's head inside. Oh man, anything new to steal over here? Gee. <laughs> So I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Doorknobs on here. Ah, it's a good one. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you were spoken to Lisa Blit? You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blit, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has thing. a very vivid <laughs> imagination. <You know. laughs> she also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. And probably all of the She's occult frightened of her own shadow, from. <laughs> She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So you are saying, saying there has <laughs> never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. Your interest I certainly don't recall in... anyone ever having worshipped yeah, the You just devil contradicted or at Atlas. yourself. So, it's gonna wait, get you to help as soon as you stop talking. Paying for some tree, <laughs> but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. It, well. You, you are the problem. You are your own problem. Yeah, and I mean, that's a fair point. You're about but, like, so in, co in this context. do not know anything about it. You just made the yeah. most rookie mistake what's just right. ever, that's ever been made. Um... Somewhere. Yeah, when did Yeah. He... Oh, uh, the mirror. The mirror. Where's yeah, the mirror? the mirror. There's the mirror. Fucking black mirror. scrying mirror. Ah, uh -huh. like come on. <laughs> like he should just look at him like. So uh, you uh, used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship. Well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? His hat is and super Lisa different. isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that That's course? Kind of Lisa thing. isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Kind Look, of. we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test. Uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing. Any medication that they have used in the past. Any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood so far, yet. Yeah. I keep a copy of this. Hmm. Uh, I wonder how much importance they actually like, give to this test. I like the and difference what are they between, doing? like. so disturbing, anyway. That phrase, the, the American thing is knock on, on wood, and, and it's touch, touch wood. wood in English phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back later. Just, all right, we're all good here. Just, just touch it. <laughs> I mean, knocking on wood isn't any more normal, but... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> just knock on the table to, for good luck. <laughs> yeah. I like... keep going to places just hoping that there's something there. Yeah, I like trying to see if there's like an, an in-between it. Uh... It's like that that right room and that fucking restaurant. Yeah. Something has to be there. 
Something has to. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, see, this is what's have hard about Have you seen like these this. before? You have to like every time you get a singular um, clue, you have to no, go back not, and just comb everything. Exactly, but yeah. uh, we had to fill something similar on the first night at Atlas. One of those attitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. Right. And that too, fitness to like describe like That's an overall moment. health Thank you. rather than just strictly physical health. Wait, mm -hmm. why would you need a? F why would you need at a business course? An application that describes how fit you are physically. I mean, they've got well, some weird-ass practices. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, see, what what I think, my conspiracy theory about the, the game ending, is uh, they, they ask, they try to get the most unstable people, or those most willing to, like, accept the occult and stuff, and then they brainwash them and kill them, and, you know. I don't know what, like, the end game of it is, but right. they're a bunch of weirdos, that's all I friggin' know. <laughs> I mean, that much is, That's listen, apparent. I mean, look, we got doll burnings. <laughs> doll burnings, red torches. Hypnosis, masks. Bag muggers, you know. <laughs> Shit's going down here. Did you do a test for who started at Atlas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, drug yeah. Test. Um, It was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But like they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Cause I'm totally wackadoodle bonkers. <laughs> Be back later on if that's okay. No, it's not, but you know. Yeah. You keep just can, breaking can you into my house. Tired of Listen, it's over. okay. I'll just knock on the window for Emma if you won't let me in. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to your girl if you won't let me in. Uh Rebecca probably is the most tired of it because yeah. we're pulling her out of work. <laughs> yeah, you were just serving though. There's like no one here. Literally, for literally her you are the only customer. Everyone else is literally uh, everywhere else, scattered across the village. <laughs> Maybe we should just like take a drink every time we like leave this place. <laughs> Do you know anything about that'd this? Be, dude, that'd be a great it's game. Yes, yeah. isn't it, Carlos? What do you want to know? Do when you when know you're 21, why you start doing things like that. I think that's a drunk challenge. Nice. Careful who you work with. Dude, okay. you're... Summary. Alright. Document is an aptitude test. We knew that. Had trouble with something? Well, yeah. Yeah, we, we knew that. Thank that's you. why they made Probably the test. Back later. Uh, yeah. You. What? I'm still upset that they have like a singular, like weird, old school private eye filming light just directly on her face like just from her forehead <laughs> to like above her mouth like let's highlight her crazy Couple eyes more questions if that's okay i feel like this is i feel like he's the one like i don't think james would know anything about this that, that's probably the the super twist though at the end it's just gonna be like james is the puppet master of all of us tell me a bit yeah. about this please uh it's the atlas aptitude test what do you want to know what does it test exactly it's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. One? Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. <laughs> that sounded very much like a threat. <laughs> I believe the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa, and we didn't want students turning around and selling us, did we? Why would you need to raise the age to 21, though? So that to handle with the stress, they could also drink? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, obviously, they're, they're, like, they're, they're like, like oh, no, no drinking on the premises. And then Liam's just, just there, just, just chugging Jameson, like, screw you guys. <laughs> I'm the ultimate. Just, just, like, throwing the hand sign at everybody. Like, <laughs> am I doing it right, Dad? Am I doing it? Like, son, you need to, you need to go back to your dorm. Oh, shit. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. 
Any any clues on what we on who we should probably focus on, or should we? Like, uh, let's try the chief again. Let's see if he has any. Chief, <laughs> help! Help! Chief, help! Why don't you just hit last number? We're the only one using this oh. thing. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade wooden dolls. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis, hypnotizing yourself. Uh, Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbs Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe. I don't it. I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. Yeah, very funny, very funny. Bye-bye. I like the chief. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let's try Lisa. Well, she said she had somewhere to go, right? Yeah. 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 That doesn't that doesn't mean nothing. Oh, we yeah. can't. Damn. Um, 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 um. I mean, he they focus specifically on like auto hypnosis, but so I think that that's what we have to like look for contradictions in. Okay. But I don't know where necessarily. Wanna take a walk through the woods, see if anything yeah, happens? Let's, <laughs> let's take, take a walk. To the woods. To the woods. To the right. This is where all the interesting people seem see, to go. See, for real. All the help. To the left. To the jetty. To the jetty. Nothing ever happens on the jetty. Oh, Except for those two <laughs> who were just there. And Lisa's body. I mean. <laughs> Just floats right, right in front to of right. <laughs> To the clearing? To the clearing. To the woodlands. And to the woodlands. Atlas. Towards Atlas. Towards. Whoa. What? That was weird. Okay. Uh, let's enter the building. Try the corridor? Yeah. I mean, it's just like back to the uh... kitchen. Yeah, but <laughs> damn. Wait, did we get any new inventory? I think the last thing was the flashlight, right? Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Just the aptitude test, yeah. All right. Going to that. So, right room. The hypnosis. More questions, please. Thank you. Yeah. Check his statements about hypnosis. Auto hypnosis. Okay. Not a major part. Aren't coerced or bribed. Phased out. Doesn't really work. Let's go back up, see what other... Thank you! Probably oh, fuck, back up on... Yeah. Oh, just my bad. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, back up the street. <laughs> you were just like, ah, oh, no, yes, let's give up. Giving up is a thing, let's do this. I, I didn't want to give up, I just misunderstood the... Oh, my bad. Sorry. Misunderstood the going of the place. Miscommunication. Okay. So. Yeah, listen. Why would you admit that your program uses disturbing mm. techniques? Yeah, it, um... <laughs> try... try <laughs> something with disturbing techniques? Yeah, try... I mean, the only techniques that we really know that they use right now is the... Check doll burning. Check doll burning. Uh, doll burning. Ceremony. Occurs every few weeks. Students carry dolls with them for a month. It's another story that's passed. Alright, that seems like a... 
contradiction in of itself. So, no, never. Well, I guess not. Um, yeah, because a month is only about four weeks, and few could be used. Demons possessing her. Oh, wait. Want me to look? No, no, no. Keep out of here. We might have violence by student and had psychological problems. Ask for a refund.